Welcome back, boys and girls. We are on episode 3 of WandaVision, and things are starting to escalate. They are in a television show that started out in the 50s, then the next episode, I guess it was the 60s, and now we are at the 70s, I think, because there's uh, there's color, there are new clothes, there's a new intro with a bit of a Beach Boys vibe to it, and I really like this series so far. It's fun, it's accessible, and also it's mysterious. It's really mysterious. And I'm really looking forward to getting to um, getting a bit deeper into the episode as well. We are playing Shield Wall, and I'm gonna get into a new battle now while uh, reviewing the last episode that I saw of WandaVision. First off, we're gonna start off a new battle. I'm gonna play as Rome. I, usually I play as Greece, but for this game I'm gonna go as Rome, actually against Greece. They will be up to the left, Gaul up to the right, and me as Red at the very south. A raw river is the name of this map, and it's gonna be a 30 minute game for me to go through the last episode. We have gone through different decades now. First we started up with the 50s, and now it seems as though we are rather in the 70s, so I guess the episode 2 could have been the 60s. I didn't notice that big of a difference between um, the first and second episode here. But we left off with Wanda being pregnant, and of the two of them, it really seems to be... Damn. Yeah, that's not good. Purple took our place here. We're gonna go to the next map. But it seems like Wanda is not as surprised about this pregnancy as Vision is. Because uh, on the previous episodes, it seems like Wanda is pretty much in, in charge of them. But uh, here, Vision seems to be the one that's really... That's really confused about it. Which I completely understand. And yeah, the episode starts off with uh, the doctor visiting them because he needs to check up on the pregnancy. Yep, definitely pregnant. <laughs> and Vision asks the question that we're all wondering, like, how did this happen? How did she turn out, like, pregnant, right? But the doctor gives him the uh, answer that basically we were all waiting for, I guess, with when a man and a woman loves each other, etc., etc. Wow, this didn't start off well. They went straight for me, basically. Vision is uh, the most nerve, the more nervous one of them. But um, the doctor is trying to calm them down, calm them both down. But I guess Vision mostly. But uh, Vision shouldn't be nervous because he has nerves of steel. Well, I have nerves of steel, so there goes your theory, Mr. Doctor. <laughs> when the doctor's finished, though, we get to another section of everything being weird. Because uh, he has a neighbor, right? Herb? We, I think we've seen him before. But he is out uh, trimming the hedges. And this is another moment of, like, a bug in the system, basically. Where, for some reason, uh, Herb keeps, like, trimming even uh, after the hedges are done and he's, like, halfway through the fence at this point. With a smile on his face and it looks really weird. And Vision um, mentions this, like, well, it looks like you've gone a bit far in trimming the hedges. And he and Herb notices this, but just doesn't care, keeps cutting down through the hedge. We're actually gonna try to defend this one. And Vision starts noticing that something is weird with this. And of course, of course it's weird. He's like using a hedge trimmer to cut down his, um, to cut down his fence, basically. And when he gets back, and when he gets back in, Wanda has gotten even bigger.
and like even more pregnant because it's been like a couple of hours. I think he says in the beginning that uh, how big can the fetus has gotten in like 12 hours? And then it should be like really small, but I mean the the pregnancy is transgressing so fast. Like she's going through a nine month pregnancy in a couple of hours. So this is not something, this is actually something that makes me think that it's weird, not just um, that it's not real, basically. And we've gone through a couple of weird episodes earlier with um, with the radio talking to Wanda, for example, and like the beekeeper coming up out of the sewers. But this actually makes me think that it's not that, yeah. It's not real. It can't be real. It's in someone's imagination. But the um, now that the pregnancy has gone so far, we are starting to get a bit more. Um, we are starting to get a bit more unstable with Wanda's powers because when she has this like these like pains that you get when you're pregnant in the very end. Her powers are really starting to, is really starting to uh, to get weird. This takes us to a scene where they are, we're gonna have to take that one down, where they are painting the nursery. And they are discussing uh, names and it doesn't look like we can take this fight. We cannot take this fight. And uh, they're having an issue basically with what name to choose. Um, Paul Bettany and uh, the guy who plays Vision is a uh, Brit. And so is Vision. So he wants it to be like kind of a bit kind of name like Billy. I don't know if that's uh, typically British. But he wants it to be Billy, Wanda wants it to be Tommy, and the solution for them is to hope for a girl. We really have to get the purple out of the way. Look at the points. We are really behind. I'm going with capture speed on this one. Pause. And this takes us to the next scene. Now we're in the kitchen. And something really interesting here that has nothing to do with the series is how she cut the pineapple. Because I recently learned that there's a way to cut pineapple so you don't get the, the burning sens sensation in, uh, in your mouth from eating it. And that's basically if you look at how she has, um, how she has cut like diagonally, uh, diagonally. We're actually gonna go into this fight. She cuts it like diagonally, and that's nothing to do with the series. It's just a fun fact from Papa Marty on how to cut pineapple so you um, so you don't get a burning sensation. During this kitchen scene, Wanda goes into false labor. And they have breathing exercises to uh, so to soothe her down, but these false labor pains really kick up her um, her power to a level that she can't control. So they blast the uh, electricity out, and when her powers go crazy, and she can't really control them. She blasts out the entire entire power grid of the neighborhood, basically. So they are all out of uh, all out of electricity. Do these earrings make me look fat? Oh, thank God. <laughs> and this leads to a scene that's really confusing, where Wanda kind of wonders if it could be that people are starting to notice their secret and their powers this is another part of those like goosebumps parts 
where you get confused but also where you get confused but also is really exciting because you don't know what's happening but I mean he calms Wanda down and it happens to Vision so I don't think it's Vision who I don't think it's Vision who caused it the like reboot but something's really off but her labor seems to be kicking in this goes really fast all of it and vision is clearly the one who's less capable of um, of like taking the stress of labor so Wanda calms him down with the breathing exercises that they uh, that they previously learned but her oh what I think we're actually gonna try to attack these ones in the back Or we're just gonna go take their base. I think we should take their base. But when Wanda's water breaks, it all starts like those sprinklers goes on. And this leads to another commercial. So now it's commercial time. And you know from the last episode that I think these commercials are somewhat off because the last one had something to do with Hydra. I don't recognize, remember if the first one did, but this one is about a mother who's who's having a run but this commercial is about like bath salts or something like that so she transfers to this tropical beach and all of her troubles are washed away and the product's name is hydra soak so we're back again with hydra and i have some um and i feel like i'm onto something here and um really kind of and it's really sad that I missed uh, out on noticing this in the first commercial. But hey, it's a series. So we have to notice some parts. When we get back to the apartment or the house, it's still... Um, the water is still on. We're gonna go against Greece now. They're gonna fight there. I have to go back and replenish the troops. Wanda uses her powers to uh, like dry off. But you remember that she was probably in labor. So now Vision has to go find uh, the doctor who was supposed to go on vacation. But it doesn't seem like he will. But Vision is uh, fortunately very fast so he can go get him. Which is something I don't remember from the movies. I know... I mean that he could fly but I don't remember that he was like faster than the speed of light kind of fast like he is in this uh, in these series with the speed in which he changes the diaper and that apparently he can run very fast but uh, he seems to be able to do so in this series which is something that I don't uh, fully understand Yeah, good luck, dudes. But when the Vision leaves, Geraldine, you remember her friend from the earlier episode, comes by because she needs to borrow a bucket and wonder why. I wonder if it's wet in their place as well. Look at how we absorb that one like a complete boss. Come on, Greeks. So I'm just gonna soak up their damage while keeping recruiting to fill out the lines. We should be able to take this one without that much hassle. And now we're gonna need to take back our bases because purple is really in the lead right now. And they have the B we don't want. But hey, 
Now they have their entire army over there. Will they try to go for our base? They might, which means that we could be able to take B base and also attack them from behind. Right here, because our javelin throwers are really holding up the fort. But they can't do it on their own. I'm gonna upgrade my banner in order to get a bit more damage and also a bit more money. Because even though because even though it's late game and uh, money really comes in dependent on how many bases you have, purple is now gone. Yeah, you can come ahead, man. So Greek, the Greeks seem to be down for the count. They have no base, and now their entire army is dead. So now it's us against green, and if you look at the points up to the left, green is really, um, really behind. It was purple that was my biggest adversary, but now we should be, um, we should be able to win this quite easily. So Geraldine comes by because she needs to borrow a bucket and Wanda tries to uh, like hide her pregnancy which is kind of fun because in the beginning the doctor uh, compared like the stages of pregnancy with different types of fruit like uh, papaya and pear and pineapple and these fruits have all like been through the episode and maybe it's uh, it's an irrelevant detail but she hides her belly with a bowl of fruit eventually she started off with using her coat which was kind of fun but then she uh, does it with a bowl of fruit instead oh wow I missed eventually they find a bucket and you remember that Geraldine said in a, in a previous episode that she didn't really know what she was doing there so she seems she was new to the neighborhood she didn't really know what she was doing there exactly so I think something's off with Geraldine as well oh god I'm dead so that something was off with Geraldine, but she's going into um, she's going into a story of her at work, and in the same time, the stork that they painted on the on the baby's on the wall in the baby's room has come to life for some reason. But fortunately, fortunately, Geraldine doesn't seem to notice this. But Wanda tries to get rid of it. She tries to use her powers to get rid of it, with like the red mist stuff. But for some reason, it doesn't allow her to get rid of it that way. But it just flaps off uh, the dust and keeps on living. Which brings to the question, does it really exist for to Geraldine? She does seem to hear it in one, um, in one sequence though. So she might be able to hear it, but she doesn't seem to notice it at all when it walks around, even though Wanda tries to hide it. But Vision is now at the doctor's place. Uh, he was going to be on vacation, but apparently his car broke down, which leads to another weird sequence where he doctor says like the, these small towns are really hard to escape. And I don't know why, but this kind of gave me gave me chills as well. The series have a lot of those moments where you feel really like uncomfortable, and it's like a th like a thriller or a, not a horror movie, but it's always this kind of unsettling energy to it. But Vision finds the Doctor, Vision seems to be onto something, but you remember that I don't really think that it's real Vision. I really don't think so. 
but he at least his subconscious or something seems to be seems to be on to it that something is off but he brings the doctor and now we're back to the apartment where Geraldine is helping Wanda give birth really seems like I jinxed it look green is really coming off on the points right now they have in the entire north we're trying to hold on to the south but that's uh, the difficult thing you need to protect while you attack and you can't split up your army so really just need to hang out on all kinds of places but we're back in the apartment and Geraldine I mean Wanda's powers are going crazy the paintings on the walls are starting to spin and the, I think the lights are flicking as well but Geraldine says I know I'm a bit late to the party but there's a complete logical explanation to this that the paintings are spinning on the walls I don't think so I think it's some uh, it's something a bit weirder than that but she's helping Wanda out with the uh, with the pregnancy and the first little kid comes along and her belly is still there even though the kid is already uh, already born so what does that tell you at least um, vision has now come back he took the doctor up on his back and they almost I mean they had some kind of uh, super speed there because vision can be really quick now for some reason but they first get the little Tommy Vision is so proud and he agrees to name the baby Tommy even though the entire episode has been about not entirely been about but during the entire episode Vision has uh, wanted it to be Billy and Wanda has wanted it to be Tommy they took my base god damn Vision walks the doctor out because now the baby is born and Wanda is left with Geraldine and Wanda starts to talk about her brother Pietro who was Quicksilver you remember from the movies the really really fast guy which also makes me start to wonder what happened to her accent because she's from Sokovia so in, I remember in the first uh, like movie where her and her brother appeared they spoke with like a really thick accent but now for some reason they don't she has um, an American accent I think that happened in the movie so it's not completely um, com completely only related to uh, the series but she starts to talk about Pietro and starts to sing in Sokovian and this awakens something in Geraldine and she says, he was killed by Ultron, wasn't he? And Wanda recognizes something here. That something is off. And in the same time, Vision is out uh, talking to the neighbor, Ag neighbors, Agnes and also Herb. Herb, who was a bit off and um, sawed off the fence. And Agnes, who is also a bit odd, odd, always so uh, so happy though. But they seem to be a bit suspicious about Geraldine. Like, did she enter the house? She is new here, and this goes to a section where it uh, flips between Vision being out with the neighbors and Wanda being with Geraldine. And Wanda seems to be up to seems to uh, have caught on to something now when that she Geraldine mentioned Ultron. And this brings up um, and this brings to a scene where Wanda questions like Geraldine's necklace, which I hadn't noticed before, but the necklace has the same symbol that the helicopter, I mean the little toy helicopter had. So it appears that Geraldine might be up, might be, uh, might have some part in this as well. But don't really know what part she might have yet.
But when Vision comes back in after this weird segment segment with uh, Herb and Agnes, where them saying like she's new, and Herb says like she came here because we're all. But he never finishes that sentence. Of course he doesn't. He can't, she came here because we're all we're all what man. But yeah, we never know what we're all are. But Vision comes back in. And Wanda seems really calm. You remember that Vision was up front, but Wanda says that Geraldine left. She left, honey. Like re this really robotic kind of voice. And um, she seems to have done something. She really seems to have done something. Which cuts over to um, the outskirts of Westview. Where Geraldine, like, appears for this switch place somehow. I'm really, I'm starting to get really confused about this uh, series right now. Like, what is happening and why? It seems so weird. But the, the first episode was a lot of like, um, a lot of comedic focus. This one I feel was a bit more, it was also comedy of course, because it's all still in the sitcom kind of, the sitcom kind of way. But I really feel like the plot thickens. And... That is it for the game. Victory. I'm still playing on normal mode because I'm still a noob. But you can really look where I'm starting to kick off. Yeah, so with the neighbors, it's all a bit weird. Geraldine came here because we're all... We're all what, Herb? But I'm also getting kind of a Truman's Show vibe to it. Where they reboot from being suspicious to being their normal selves. Well, I better get going. That macrame is not going to hitch itself. <laughs> yeah, this feels really weird. When Geraldine was ex turned up was excommunicated, that was thrown out of this force field. She was surrounded by modern cars and helicopters. It looks like also like a military base was out there. So something is weird. Something is out going on in Westview. This was the third episode of WandaVision. I cannot wait to watch the fourth one. And I want a shield wall. So that's um, a short summary. Wanda now has twins. She was a twin. Uh, Pietro uh, died when Geraldine brought this up. Wanda turned very quite hostile and leading to Geraldine being excommunicated, thrown out through the force field. There are modern cars and helicopters outside of this force field. And I'm confused. I don't know what's happening. But. I love the show, it's awesome, and I love it. I'm gonna go watch the next episode, and I'll see you next time.